Welcome back to HWBC News. I'm Cody Anthony. Here with Logan Jaquay. And we have some stories for you. Stay tuned for Weather at 10 and Drew Williams with Sports at Noon. But first, we go to Nate Acklin with our top story. A national epidemic has been going on with an increase in teen vaping. Nate has more on that story as we go to him live. The company Juul came out with a slick e-cigarette that has 5% nicotine in each pod. In 2018, the Juul became very popular with teens and college students. According to the U.S. Surgeon General, by 2015, e-cigarettes has had an increase of 900%. Many students have turned to using vape products in the school bathrooms. This has caught the attention of Mr. Kreider, who is the vice principal here at EHS. Mr. Kreider has agreed to let us talk with him about the problem. Nate Ackland here reporting with Mr. Kreider, Vice Principal at Eisenhower High School, and we're going to talk to him about teen vaping. What's the main issue with vaping at school? You kids like to do it too much. You think you can get away with it and you think it's safe, but uh, it's not a safe alternative to cigarettes, uh, and it's a bad habit, and you guys need to stop. What's the? What are you doing to crack down on the vapors? Well, I do rely a lot on feedback from other kids who don't want to see their friends doing it. So oftentimes the students cooperating and then just word of mouth um, and just the smell of it. Everybody thinks that uh, the scents and the grapes and all the different uh, scents that they use. So when I walk into bathrooms and, or locker rooms, I can smell it. So then I search people. Is this the first year you've seen this going on at school? No, it, when I taught at McDowell, there was the same issue, just on a higher level with more kids. So it's pretty rampant among youth. Hmm. Do you think it's going to continue to get worse? Yeah, I do think it'll continue to get worse. I mean, a lot of these kids are getting the vapes from their parents are buying them or older siblings are buying them. So I think it starts with uh, the top down, making sure the parents holding the kids accountable and the older brothers and sisters not buying them for them. Well, there you have it. Bad habit to start. Now back to our anchors. 900% increase in teen vaping. That's just too bad. That's, yeah, that's, that's out of control. Well, anyway, let's go see what's happening in the realm of sports with Drew Williams. Drew Williams here with your sports segment. First official day of spring sports started March 4th. We got softball and baseball along the track. A girls track team had a good good season last year. Hopefully they can have a good season this year. The baseball team was kind of rough last year. Softball team kind of kind of shaky. Um, this year our baseball program does not have a head coach yet. The baseball team is still in search for a head coach until a head coach is found. Coach Penley and Coach Kors will be running practices. Wrestling postseason is not over with for three individuals. Kale Black, Joey Bauer, and Logan Jaquay have all punched their tickets to Hershey. Joey Bauer is a senior and this is his first year making the states. Logan Jaquay made it to states last year as a sophomore and placed eight. Kale Black is the first wrestler at Eisenhower to win regionals and make it to states. Here's an interview we had with him. Drew Williams here with region champ Kale Black and I asked him some questions. How did it feel to be region champ? Uh, it was pretty unexpected, winning my quarterfinals match, but I mean, got it done, so. Were you nervous going into the finals match? At that point, I knew I was qualified, so I was pretty relaxed. I just had to go wrestle and got it done. Kale Black is the first freshman to be region champion going to state at Eisenhower. How does, how does that feel to have that under your belt? I mean, nobody really treats me like a freshman on the wrestling team, so I, mean, I feel like just like everybody else, honestly, I'm make, happy to make the trip. Your fellow teammate Logan Jaquay is on track to get 100 wins this weekend at States. Do you think you'll be able to accomplish 100 wins? Uh, hopefully Logan breaks the record and then uh, I'll be able to do it too. So, Kale Black has 34 wins. He's looking pretty solid, folks. Now back to our anchors. Freshman making it to States. That's quite the accomplishment. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Along with two others, I mean, that's yeah. the most Eisenhower's ever taken to States. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty good this year. And now on to the bad water story. Nate Ecklin here with senior Alex Barnett. How do you feel about the school water here? It's nasty. I'm colorblinded. I can tell it's brown. 
Did the water make you colorblind? Yes, sir. You heard it there. <laughs> so, uh, what would you recommend kids doing about the water? You know, if they're really thirsty, would you still say to drink it or pass on it? I'd say take a trip outside and eat the snow. Good tip, good tip. Uh, do you think they're going to fix it anytime soon? Nope. <laughs> you heard it here. Back to our anchors. That brown water is kind of disgusting. I wouldn't want to be drinking that. No, neither would I. Well, now we see what's happening with the local news. Mr. EHS took place a little bit ago. Let's go see what's happening with that. I'm Logan Quay here at the site of the annual Mr. EHS competition. The competition features four segments, formal wear, school spirit, muscle, and of course, the talent set part. This year, the winner was Alex Barnett and runner-up Michael Abadie. Alex looked very strong in the muscle competition along with his school spirit where he said many good things about our school here at Eisenhower. Also, his formal wear was pretty interesting where he was wearing a dress and had a little slip, but that was all right. Um, all of Alex's skills propelled him to win the annual Mr. HS competition. And that's all we have here for your Mr. EHS news. And now back to our studio. Man, Alex Barnett taking that dub. Hey, you really stole the show with that. Sw stole the show. No one else no. really was that. Well, anyway. Now on. Now back to uh, Cody Anthony with our weather. Cody Anthony here with your four-day forecast. Tomorrow and Thursday looking partly cloudy with a chance of snow. Highs in the low teens. Friday, part mostly cloudy, and Saturday, mostly sunny. Uh, you're going to want to be careful out there because this mix between sun, rain, and snow have caused a layer of ice upon snow upon ice, making the roads havoc, causing crashes everywhere. So make sure you grab a jacket and be safe out there. And now back to the studio. Thanks for tuning in to HWBC News. Catch us right back here tomorrow. I'm Logan Quay. I'm Cody Anthony. See you later.